chew on things. Man, I put this. What's up, YouTube fam? So, just can I just say that I'm currently I'm doing this vlog recording while I'm holding a coffee and I have like a heavy ass gym bag in the other hand and I should get like a medal for like doing this because it's it's not it's not easy to navigate <laughs> vlogging and trying to walk and hold all this shit at the same time anyways so I thought today would be fun to vlog um, because once a month you guys know I work for a health food store and once a month we do get this like training that is offered to us by uh, different supplement companies that we have in the store. So usually three companies come and they talk to us about, it could be one or two, sometimes even three supplements and give us information on it. And they give us free product to try um, to see if we like it, obviously to increase their sales, but it's kind of cool for us because we get lots of information, which is really awesome. The guy's staring at me in the car. By the way, my gym bag makes crazy noise, so I'm really sorry if it's really loud um, while I'm vlogging, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, so I thought it'd be fun to share this day with you guys. Um, we do the training at the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition, so I wanted to take you guys along the day with me so you guys can see what I learned, and maybe you guys learn something too. Okay, so let's go. Yo, what is up guys um, welcome back to the video I get you guys you guys saw my train uh, my footage about um, me going to training day for the health food store I'm not really gonna go into big details of what we learned on that monthly training because to be quite honest the products that we learned I already know quite a bit about so I wanted to make separate vlogs for those products and actually I'm gonna talk about one of those um, supplements today and what I'm gonna talk about today is Ah, my wrist. What I'm going to talk about today is greens powder. See if you can see that. Focus camera. Greens powder. So, I get a lot of people who come into the health food store and they always say, you know, I need something that's going to help me increase my energy. And when you have a lack of energy, it could be really a multiple. It could be quite a few different things. You know, for women, it could be an iron deficiency. Um, it could be, uh, you know, a vitamin imbalance. It could be you're missing those essential B vitamins, especially if you train a lot. You need to have quite a, like you should be taking some sort of B complex because when you work out quite a bit, you lose the B vitamins very easily. So it could be that. It could be a, a deficiency in your branched chain amino acids. It could be a deficiency in glutamine. It could be so many things. But one thing that I always recommend that I think is super beneficial and that really everyone can take um, unless you're a vegan and you're already getting lots of those greens and super greens in, something that I always recommend and that I absolutely love recommending is a greens powder. It's a greens powder. I'm gonna break it down for you guys today. What is a greens powder? What is it good for? Um, you know, why take it? And some of my favorite brands um, and why they're my favorite brands, okay? So let's get started. A greens powder is exactly what it means. It's a greens powder. It is a form of um, concentrated greens put into a powder. Sometimes there's fruit in there as well. Sometimes they add probiotics or digestive enzymes. But really to break it down, it's super greens 
different types of greens that you might not get in your daily diet and they, um, they dehydrate the vegetables and they put them down um, into a powder form. The cool thing about a greens powder, if you have a good quality greens powder, then it's going to have a lot of sea vegetables. Um, sea vegetables, unless you're a vegan or a vegetarian, you know, the average person does not consume a lot of sea vegetables. And one of the common things that you'll find in a greens powder is kelp. So kelp, for example, is something that's high in iodine. Iodine is really great to help actually regulate the thyroid and it actually helps to feed the cells in your brain. So, and a lot of people don't consume kelp on the regular. That's actually one of the reasons I love greens powder because I'm able to get a good dosage of greens that I wouldn't consume otherwise. The thing that you will norm normally find in a greens powder is algae. Algae is things such as chlorella and spirulina, which is really rich in nutrients and actually helps to detoxify your system. Chlorella specifically is really fantastic for people who work like in, if you do some sort of construction job where you're working with a lot of heavy metals, it's fantastic for actually purifying the blood and taking those heavy metals out. I think you should know is that not all greens powders are made the same. Whenever I pick up, I've tried quite a few different green supplements and whenever I try a new one, I always like to read the back of it, read the label and see what veggies, what fruits, you know, what they're using in their greens powder. I've noticed that some work better for me and some I don't notice a difference at all. So I always like to compare um, products and see kind of which one is the best. Greens powder actually help you with, well it can actually help you with quite a few different things. I'm going to list off just a few of the things that, um, that it can help you with now. The first thing is getting all the nutrients that you need. Because of those rich nutrients that you're getting that your body is not used to getting on a daily basis. However, with that being said, it does not replace getting, actually eating fruits and veggies. In a greens powder, depending on the powder that you take, you'll probably find between anywhere between two to seven servings of uh, fruits and veggies, super greens or super fruits. Now, with that being said, like I said, it does not replace actually having your real fruits, your veggies, or a multivitamin. Unless the nutritional content is broken down on the greens powder of what is recommended in terms of vitamins and minerals for a day, it doesn't really, they don't break it down more than, most companies don't break it down on there. So it does not replace, you know, getting all your fruits and veggies in still from whole natural places or taking a multivitamin if you train. When it comes to a greens powder, when you when you have a lot of greens in there that you wouldn't normally consume, like you know kelp, like maybe um, chlorella, spirulina, like those specific greens you wouldn't get on a daily basis. Of course, they're rich in nutrients, and your body is going to absorb that, and you're going to the first place you're probably going to feel it is an energy, and that's why when a lot of people come in and they tell me that they're lacking energy. The first place, I'll, I'll normally ask them a couple questions first, but after I've kind of qualified what the issue might be, the first place I usually take them is to the greens powder because I just think a greens powder is so fantastic for so many reasons. Like, honestly, when I take it on a daily basis, my energy is just insane. I can feel the difference literally within a couple hours. I feel more energetic. So the thing that a lot of people don't know, and I think this is the main reason why a lot of people um, who know about health turn to a greens powder, uh, greens can actually help to balance your pH level. Now, those are, some of you might be saying, well, what does that mean? What is your pH level? Okay, so, all right, so our body, and food for that matter, can either be acidic or it can be pH balancing. A lot of people, I know especially a lot of sports, um, like athletes, uh, what's his name? The guy who's in the Super Bowl and always wins. Oh, I forget his name. Is it Tom Brady? I think it's Tom Brady. Tom Brady actually follows a diet that consists of, of always keeping his pH levels high. And the reason why is because it does help with reducing inflammation. You know, he's it gets it's really great nutrients for your body. Um, actually makes you. I've read studies that it actually makes you stronger. Like physically you're able to perform better as an athlete, keeps away diseases. So like cancer and a lot of diseases form because can form because of acidity within the body. The greens powder, it can actually help to balance the acidity in your body. When we eat certain foods, those foods can be either acidic or they can be 
um, pH balancing to our body. So an example of that would be red meat. Um, meat, or actually really protein, all of protein, can be very, very acidic to your body, which is why I highly recommend if you eat a lot of protein in your diet, which if you're training, you know, in the gym five, six days a week, you're probably consuming a lot of protein, then that's a lot of acidity within the body. So if you're not taking some sort of super green, you know, wheatgrass or some sort of greens powder or something to balance that pH and keep your acidity in keep your acidity down in your body in a healthy pH, then you're gonna experience problems further down the way in years to come. It's really important to keep your body at a healthy pH balance. And greens powders can actually do that for you because lots of fruits and lots of dark green veggies, especially those super greens like those algae, chlorella, spirulina, kelp, all that really good stuff, helps to actually balance your body so that you're in a healthy, healthy, happy place. <laughs> to know about a greens powder. Now on some greens powder, I'm just gonna use this one for an example, you might see something right here that says an ORAC score. So what does an ORAC score mean? ORAC score stands for oxygen, oxygen radical absorption capacity. So to break it down really simply, it's basically the amount of antioxidants within the greens powder. If you go into Google and you put in RX score of raspberries. It'll tell you what the antioxidant component is in the raspberries. With the greens powders, you more than likely, you always see like numbers between 4,000 and up. Um, and that's why, you know, a few years ago, they were all the boom because of the RX score. Now, something to know about the RX score, it's not, first of all, it's not always accurate. So you have to be aware of that. However, just because it's not always accurate doesn't mean it's not something to pay attention to. I personally noticed that when I consume greens powders that have a higher ORAC score, I feel a lot better um, because I'm getting a lot more antioxidants. And for those who don't know, antioxidants kill free radicals within your body. Simple terms, and antioxidants are good. They're like superheroes and free radicals are bad. They're like uh, villains. And so antioxidants come in and they kill all those free radicals. So I like to, I personally do like to consume a greens powder that is usually a little higher on the ORAC score because I like, it just, I just, I do feel a difference. Um, this one, for example, is 5,000, which is not that high. If you guys can see there, it's not that high. Um, the Progressive one, Progressive has a very popular greens powders. Theirs is 4,000, um, but these guys make another one that's 8,000. And when I was taking that one, I noticed a huge difference. There's some other brands that won't even put an ORAC score on there, but if you want to know, if you literally just call the 1-800 number or send them an email, they'll email you back with what the ORAC score is because they all do, all the brands do know usually what the ORAC score is. When should you take a greens powder? Now, I usually recommend to my customers that come in, take it first thing in the morning, you know, after you eat or as soon as you wake up, whatever is really convenient for you, but take it in the morning. And the reason that I say that is because it does, it really does give you a boost of energy. So I'm going to tell you guys three of my favorite greens powder. Now, these companies did not pay me to do this. My first number one favorite greens powder is by the brand called Botanica and it's called uh, Superfruit Greens. I don't have it because I've consumed it, but it's by this same brand here. Um, I really love that greens powder because, well, first of all, the ORAC score on it is 8,000. So I think that's a really good, good, good score. It's like double the score of the progressive greens powder, which is really nice. Also, the main reason why I love it so much it tastes freaking awesome. It tastes like fruit punch. You can just put it with water and drink it straight and there's no powdery feel to it. There's no chalkiness to it. It just, it literally tastes like fruit punch. It's so delicious. Next one that I really, really like is the um, Amazing Grass. Um, I think it's just called, I think it's called their goji berry. Goji and acai berry mix. Um, so it has super fruit in it once again. Now, Thing with that one guys is flavor wise eh, it's not the best um, it's not the flavor that's bad it's the texture I'm a texture person so the texture is a little bit chalky so I'm not a huge fan of the chalkiness but the nutrients in it is freaking awesome I don't know what the Oryx score on it is to be honest I've never looked it up but they do have a prebiotic and a probiotic blend in there which is awesome 
So this one that I really like, and I actually have this one because this is the one I got from Train, is this one, Genuine Health Greens Plus. Now, the reason I like this one, first of all, I have to say that Genuine Health, this is the brand that first ever came out with a greens powder. So once they did it, all the other brands saw the lucrativeness, I guess, in it and decided to do it as well. So these were the first guys to ever formulate it. Now this one is their original unflavored, which is a lie because it is flavored like broccoli and spinach and not tasty stuff. But if you look at the nutrients, let's see if I can get a good close up in there. It has some really, really good stuff. It has really good stuff. I've only taken this once, and in that one day that I took it, I actually felt amazing. I had, I felt such a huge difference in my body. And in this one, what's really nice is they actually add those probiotics in there as well. So you're getting a good dosage. They put a good dosage of probiotics in there. This one is not vegan because um, they're getting the probiotics some of them like have dairy, dairy-based probiotics. So it's not good for a vegan, um, but vegetarians can consume, but they do have a vegan one. The, also, the other nice thing about Genuine Health is they have greens that are formulated for specific reasons. So for example, they have a greens that's called extra energy. They have a greens that's for beautiful skin. So they have, I think like five or six different types of greens powders. So if there's something you specifically want, like for example, you wanna, help your acne or help your eczema, then I would go for the Genuine Health, you know, Beautiful Skin Greens Powder. So that's the nice thing about this brand. Now, I'm just gonna throw this one in because flavor-wise, this guy, he's pretty good. <laughs> Botanica Chocolate Greens. This guy's, this, this stuff is really good. <laughs> it actually tastes just like chocolate milk. I mix this with a little bit of almond milk and it's freaking amazing it's actually really tasty only thing is you can see the ORAC score is not that high but it does have a lot of really good stuff in there you can see the antioxidant blend the greens blend um, they put the fiber in there which is really nice as well so this is a pretty good one if you want something that's gonna taste amazing flavor wise this guy doesn't even taste like greens or if you want something for your kids this is the one I usually recommend to parents because it tastes just like chocolate milk. I would recommend, personally, <laughs> adding a greens powder to your supplemental routine. You know, unless you're a vegan or a vegetarian and you're getting all these nutrients on a daily basis, you're eating a lot of these leafy greens and a lot of the sea vegetables and all this stuff, then yeah, you probably don't need it. But let's face it, the average person does not watch their diet that harshly. So I recommend these greens powder because it can just give you that extra boost of nutrients. However, that does not mean, that being said, it does not mean that it replaces, like I said, your your uh, your veggies and your fruits that you should be getting on a daily basis and it does not replace a multivitamin if you are training you know five six days a week you need I highly recommend a multivitamin because your body depletes itself of nutrients that you're gonna need a lot more of because you're training quite intensely in the gym right so so just thought I would make this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully it was informative hopefully and give you something to think about you know if they're like I said if there's greens powders that I did not mention that you guys like feel free to link them below I will gladly go on Amazon and buy them and try them pray for me tomorrow when I go to the doctor that this is not a serious ligament thing and it's just it'll heal like I mean it's not that swollen right so ow but it hurts when I turn my arm like this which is not good not good which really sucks because I can't train my upper body and my upper body is my weaker part. My like legs and my butt are not that bad, but my upper body is like, this needs work. Oh well, so that will conclude today's video guys. Um, That is it. I will see you guys in the next one. And remember to comment um, and tell me how I'm doing in my videos because if you guys do not comment, if you do not tell me how I'm doing, then I cannot improve. <laughs> I cannot improve and I cannot I don't know I just can't improve if you guys don't comment in my videos and don't tell me how I'm doing um, please leave comments below positive negative I don't know whatever they may be and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Congratulations guys, you made it to the end of the video. You know what that means, it's time to like that video and leave me a comment below. I love reading your guys' comments and remember to subscribe to the channel. New videos are every Monday and Thursday. Like, 
comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!